Ram is the new Rainbow Six Siege operator and you're playing her wrong. In today's video, I'm going to go over how to actually play Ram, some things that you should be doing with her and some things that you shouldn't and when to play her. If you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful, make sure to like the video, comment and share it to a friend. Let's get this out of the way. Ram is a great operator for vertical play. I'm not doubting this, but anytime I see anybody pick Ram, their number one priority is thinking, oh, I'm going to play vertical right away. And there's nothing wrong with that if you're trying to get lines of sight. But in a lot of circumstances, I've noticed that Ram is great for being a playmaker. Think of her almost as like a John Stockton or Chris Paul or Rajon Rondo. Uh, just some basketball terms. Basically, you're assisting your teammates to make the best possible play. Now, even though Ram is super strong on vertical base maps, you can still use her on upstairs attacks. Let me show you a key example of me using the enemy's negligence to just smoke their packs. So what you're going to see here is the enemies don't shoot the glass off the windows. Now, if you guys are a little bit new to Rainbow Six Siege or you just haven't keyed into this knowledge, Basically, when you shoot out the glass as a defender on each of the windows, you're going to hear people repel. But if you don't, you're not going to hear them repel. And just watch how I use Ram's gadgets to take advantage of their dumbassness. Oh, did you shoot the default? Not bad, dude. Oh, I don't know. Let me show you how it's <laughs> the three of them peaked me, bro. None of them got refrag. <laughs> These guys are so yeah, mad. Yeah, I'm on now this probably wasn't the best example because it was quite stupid me using all three of my RAM gadgets. But to be fair, we are attacking upstairs, and basically my main objective as the attacker is to stay on those windows and pressure point the enemies while my teammates collapse from bar and whatnot. So really, me getting those picks and you know pressuring them was very helpful and being a playmaker but on the other end let me show you a prime example of what i mean for a proper strat and how to use her efficiently now a lot of people know this border strat and it's basically you rush archives with montang and you get somebody on vent window and you just get an easy plant we are not reinventing the wheel we're not doing anything special but we're just changing one aspect bringing ram mass any of the sound and this will allow me to run across site to plant tucked right of the window so i don't get shot from beneath or get c4 because usually people will pre-fire that exact area because that's where usually people plant oh my god look at he's running towards you wow you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. I'm bouncing, I'm bouncing. I died. Oh my god. Why would you run in? I didn't know where it was. Bro, nice, Josh, you're too, not man. real, bro. <laughs> bro, like, you ran in. Dude, I... Now, ever since Ram came out, I've been using a lot of these tactics to win easy ranked games, whether that's just getting kills or easy plants. I don't think they have a frost. Nice. Nice. All right, you ready? No, three. Oh, shit, this shit's prepped. There's a guy in here, friend me on me! He's close to you! Dead, dead, dead! The one solar, one solar! Solar, then! And with Ram having a 1.5 slash 2.0 in the R4C, she is meant to frag. Because even though you can play heavy amounts of vertical and you can destroy tons of utility, there's just some situations where you just need to gun up. And her being a 3 armor allows you to take so much damage. What also makes Ram so much fun to use in a team atmosphere is ram also makes other operators so much better you're always going to see a grim in the lineup just shooting his bezo and this consulate example is perfect Bring our front door. um Are you guys ready? i'm gonna join piano oh wait sitting know. on the outside default but yeah uh don't because a lot of people will like yeah, go warden and whatever. rook and shit i'm gonna join this first real quick we have time okay out there, you two and stuff. there's two on the corner two on the corner yeah, my groom got them. All right, yeah, just uh, I'm gonna play it now. Oh fuck, bro, below. Oh shit. He's shooting bodies and shit. And he still let the plant go. Yo, just hold the window, jump out below somebody. Yeah, he is. Down the window. 
Nah, I'm on an ace, we're good. Oh, there's another one another on Another one below. Another one on jump out. Bro, he has so, so many more he has to go through. He's close on there. Defusing. Nice. 1v1. Last one should be also up there. Alright. Can't jump out the pure. He's, on, he's also upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. Fake, fake, uh, fake. Got off, got off. You're good. Uh, tell you when I guess I come. Yeah, we won. Good, good shit, man. Good. I don't know how the fuck we won that. Oh. Ram is also a super hard counter to all the overpowered gadgets that's on defense. Like, say, Malusi or one of the best operators in the game in general, Azami. They have beat holes for fucking VIP. What is this stack? Get out there. In Aqua. In Aqua? Yeah, yeah no one base. Brack up walking hookah. Alright, watch and then double up his own. No, yeah, I'm on He's facing out. Yo, one pink, lit. I'm walking, I'm walking. I'm walking VIP door. I'm watching it, I'm watching. Pick up, 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 pick and you're probably wondering why in most of these clips I'm randomly just throwing my RAM gadget and you probably just think it's a waste and me just being silly. But it's actually strategic because RAM's gadget is one of the loudest things in the goddamn game, especially from the attacker side. When I'm throwing these out, I'm noticing where my teammates are and how they're positioned. And me masking the sound for them is going to be very helpful for them to establish control and overwhelm the defender. The best way to get the most out of an operator like Ram is to understand positioning and where your teammates are positioned most importantly. Because if you can't identify what your teammates are doing or how they're pushing, then you can't match the tempo. For example, if I see one of my teammates pushing into site or getting ready to push into site, even if I'm solo queue and it's like a random, then I will be sure to use my Ram gadget in a specific way where it would complement them and maybe even catch the defenders off guard. Whether that's throwing my Ram gadget to make vertical or throw it into a window or around site or down a staircase, etc. This is the best way to get the most out of an operator like Ram. She is a very strong vertical operator, but she is best used off your teammates, just like any operator in the game. But most importantly, Ram needs to be played this way to get the most out of her. Whether you're solo queue or five stacked or whatever, you need to always be keyed in to what your teammates are doing and how they're pushing. Yeah, fuck. Uh, you're gonna need me to shoot this down? Yeah. You got it. No. Got you... I, I got it. Okay, yeah. Let me know when. Tony, to, just wait until Tony gets to me. Tony, you're gonna need to shoot this down for me so I can smoke out, right? Okay. They're on the, uh, I think office. Let me know. Oh, wait. I, I'm ready Not if you guys are ready. I think they're on top of the computer. Yo, shoot this down for me, Grid. Alright, I can shoot it whenever. Oh, go, 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 go. No, that would miss. Lucky. Bro, is this a site? Nope. Yeah. yeah okay. Oh shit. Okay, this works. This works. Died to a. Warden swing. Warden smoke me. He's, uh, Africa. Pinch window, pinch window. No, I'm just gonna stand here. Oh, you got him. Yep. Mm -hmm. So even in that play, we didn't use RAM accordingly in archives. We had our RAM go sandwich window or pinch window to really distract and pinch the enemies. And you can see how these counter angles really help us as attackers. You don't always need to just rush in one specific area and then plant off of the RAM gadget. You can get very creative with this operator. By the way, guys, if you hear a little bit crackling, my XLR cable messed up. So I'm super sorry. The end of this video is a little bit crackly. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you guys like, sub, and comment. And let me know down in the comments, what's your thoughts on Ram? I don't think she's as overpowered as people were thinking when the operator was first introduced. But I'm really excited to see how she plays in Pro League and just how the pros adapt with her gadget. This is so interesting just to see the amount of vertical play and clean vertical play you can get. But most importantly, the team strats that you can get down. Because I've been having a hoot playing ranked with my content creator friends doing some really wacky fun site setups and executions with ram because like honestly she's so enjoyable and her 1.5 slash uh 2.0 on the rfrc is so satisfying to use like if you guys haven't used it the thing's a beast like it's, the fragging capability is unbelievable 
and i'd much rather entry with this operator than an operator like ash or zofia so if you guys do get any wacky plays be sure to at me on twitter at garfield is doc and show me your favorite ram clip besides that guys thank you so much for watching and have a good day